Let's take a look at Bright Data's scraping browser to see how we can use a dedicated web browser to get all the data we need from a website, even when there's no API. When you navigate into the proxies and scraping infrastructure page, you'll be greeted with various different proxies. The one we want to look at today is the scraping browser. To create one, we're going to go ahead and click get started. And all we have to do is give our scraping browser a name. And for this one, we'll call it scrapey. And this is going to be really useful for any site that has data that might be behind some user interaction or that might be geo restricted or IP rate limited since we'll be using Bright Data's proxy network. And then over here on the side, you can see a breakdown of the estimated cost of using the scraping browser. Now that we've created the name, that's essentially it. We'll go ahead and click add. We are immediately taken to the access parameters page that gives us our host username and password. Make sure to keep this secret. If you want examples on how to integrate it, you can click over here to get some integration examples. You'll want to use Puppeteer in Node.js or Playwright in Python. Now I'm going to go ahead and use Puppeteer Core and show you guys an example of how to use it. Now to fully utilize this, you will have to have some type of knowledge with programming. Now it's not overly complicated. I'm using Node.js with Puppeteer. You can find the respective documentation on each of their websites. Now what I've created here is a simple Node.js application, which is going to navigate to amazon.com. It's going to search for the today deals link and click that once it finds it. It's going to wait for something to load on the next page. Then it's going to parse all the deals on there and return us the deal and the name of the product. Now, if I were an actual user doing this, it would be navigating to the Amazon homepage, clicking on today's deals and browsing through all of these deals manually. But our app is going to do this automatically. So when running this app, you can see it's spitting out all of the findings to the console. You're free to do whatever you want with this information. But for this example, we're just getting a large list of everything that Amazon has for today's deals. Going back to our scraping browser under statistics, you can see that we've only used 11.7 megabytes, which essentially cost us pennies. So this is an extremely efficient way to get any data you want from any website, no matter if it requires user interaction or if there's no API. 